Mercedes-Benz this year, their sales actually are doing really, really well. They're up about 22% versus last year. But something else is going on, which is quite interesting, and that is almost 50% of all Mercedes-Benz cars being sold right now are being delivered in China. But there's a big problem. In China, Mercedes has had to slash the prices of its electric cars, according to Automotive News, by up to $33,000 US dollars because people don't want their electric cars there, or at least demand for them has gone through the floor. What does this mean for the future of the company? Well, it's going to be difficult. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. My name is Sam Evans. I'm coming to you from Melbourne in Australia. Thanks for tuning in. It's great to see you all. Mercedes-Benz delivered 520,000 vehicles in the third quarter of this year. Of those, nearly 50% were sold in China. The German automaker's sales jumped 20% this quarter that ended in September, rising from 435,000 in Q3 2021, bringing this year's tally to 1.5 million units total. Mercedes' best ever year for sales in China was 2020, when it delivered a record of 640,738. The following year, sales were down to 598,000, a decrease of 6.7%. But it looks like this year, Mercedes will easily beat that number. But the big issue that I'm concerned about, and so are many automotive experts, they're saying Mercedes is having to slash the prices of its electric cars. So what does that mean for their future? Well, Mercedes-Benz has just cut prices on two electric car models in China by around 33,000 US dollars as competition for electric cars in the Chinese auto market has just gone ballistic. This is the future of the car industry. The future of the car industry is not these old things, right? That's a gasoline powered car. The future of the car industry is new digital electric products. And if Mercedes is having to slash the prices of their EVs, I think, and I've been saying this on the channel now since I started doing this, I think it's because people don't really perceive Mercedes electric cars as being the premium luxury vehicles that they do of gasoline vehicles of the past. In the past, everyone thought, yeah, Mercedes Benz, you know, that's what you want. That's the goal. That's the dream. Get a Mercedes Benz. When you make it, you buy an expensive Mercedes S Class. China, people don't think that. There's been numerous surveys that I've seen saying that people perceive other electric car brands such as Tesla as being more premium in China. And if China is, well, 50% of your global car market, that's pretty important. And it's a bit of an issue that you have to look at. Mercedes-Benz said in a statement on its website on Tuesday that it was reducing prices on pretty much every EV it sells in China, effective Wednesday, and that it would provide subsidies to customers who recently bought their cars. That's giving sort of partial refunds to customers who have recently bought their EVs. Now, there is a big reason for all this, and it's much bigger and much worse than anything I've mentioned yet in this video. I'll get to that in a second though. The cuts in price are immediate. The EQE priced at 478,000 yen or 67,000 US dollars, a lot cheaper than it is in some other markets around the world, has now gone down significantly versus its previous price of 530,000 yen. The EQS, the luxury edition model, is now priced at 956,000 yen, when before it was at nearly 1.3 million yen. So it's a price reduction of 33,000 US dollars. Mercedes is making the cuts because sales have been disappointing in China for damn good reason. You would have to be a bit crazy to buy an electric car in China right now, Frankly, I'm shocked that even anyone is considering the press Mercedes have had for their EV problems this year. And the reality is that what they chose to do is potentially going to doom them in China in the future. Now, these problems don't apply to their gasoline powered vehicles, even though they're gasoline powered vehicles, in my opinion, you have to be crazy to buy one of those right now. They apply only to Mercedes electric cars. As a result of the bad press Mercedes have had, in China, which has been unbelievably, probably worse than for any other automaker in the world in China right now, dealers have been already discounting their EVs to try and boost sales, with EQS deliveries at times dropping to as low as 100 or less 
per month. Remember, this is the world's biggest car market, right? Nearly 30% of all vehicles sold in China are electric. 23 million cars sold per year. I mean, that's almost a third of the entire global car market, and they're struggling to sell 100 of those per month. Now, one of the criticisms of the EQS, aside from the fact that there's massive problems with them, is that its low slung roof makes it very aerodynamic, which is a good thing. It increases its range on a single charge, but it means there's less headroom in the rear seating compartment, a drawback in the Chinese market where wealthy customers prefer to sit in the back and have someone actually drive the car for them. And I made a video on the biggest problem Mercedes is facing right now in China. That is massive quality issues. In fact, I would say the biggest quality issues they've ever had in the history of the car company. I really don't think anything comes close to the reality. There is this. They've had electric motor failures in almost, well, nearly every car that's been sold, nearly every E-series car has had an electric motor failure problem. The thing is, Mercedes just ignored this. People were going to Mercedes dealerships en masse saying these motors are failing, they're having issues, they're doing this, they're doing that. And Mercedes was basically ignoring them. Basically, the Chinese government forced Mercedes to recall the cars. And so, well, so did all the bad press and the media as well. But in the meantime, Mercedes knew that there was failures with these motors since December of last year. They kept selling them all the way up until October. Then they announced the recall for all the cars that they just sold between the end of last year and October of this year. They kept selling them and they knew there was problems with those motors. Pretty big problems. It's been a huge disaster for them. I actually made a video about this. I'll put a link in the description below. If you haven't seen it, you need to check that out. I'm really surprised they did this. I just don't understand why they did this. To me, it was a really bizarre decision. The other thing is, in a statement in Bloomberg News, Mercedes said the top end EV segment in China is still evolving especially for cars priced above 1 million yen. Mercedes-Benz continually observes and analyzes the dynamic market developments, including the current positioning of other manufacturers in the luxury segment. Based on that, Mercedes-Benz is repositioning certain EQ models in China. They're doing this at exactly the same time that Tesla begins selling the Tesla Model S and the Model X, the Plaid versions as well in China. In fact, they announced these price cuts within, I don't know, I think a couple of days of those models becoming available for sale in China. I don't know if that's a coincidence. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. You all know, I'm sure, foreign and legacy car brands are falling behind rising local names in China, and of course, Tesla, with domestic automakers accounting for over 80% of electric vehicle sales in the first seven months of 2022, according to the Chinese Passenger Car Association. If you actually remove, right, if you remove plug-in hybrids from that scenario, and you, I mean, you're talking about purely electric cars, 90% of the market in China, the world's biggest electric car market by a million miles, 90% are local brands. If you add Tesla, it's 95%. It's crazy. Mercedes sold 8,800 EVs in China from January to July. Data from the China Automotive Technology and Research Center shows including the less expensive EQA, EQB, and the EQC models. That in China, Mercedes electric vehicle sales were only a couple of percent, only a couple of percent of all the cars they've sold there this year. Chinese EV giant BYD, which targets more of the middle market, but is now going after the premium market with their new brand called Wang Yang, sold nearly 220,000 EVs in October alone. So Mercedes sold 8,800 in the first seven months of the year, Right now, BYD is selling 220,000 per month. Mercedes is not the only foreign automaker responding to Chinese market pressures. Tesla has lowered its prices, but of course, Tesla is also selling on average around about 30,000 electric cars per month in China. This is what I see. I see Volkswagen. Volkswagen, 50% of their global profit comes from China. Mercedes-Benz, you can see nearly 50% of their profits now are coming from China. I see those two companies significantly losing market share massively over the next few years in China specifically, where of course, it's just inevitable. They're just simply not prepared for this electric vehicle shift. I like Mercedes the brand, and I think they'll actually do well in other countries, specifically Europe and probably North America where they're gonna make EVs as well. But in China, well, that game is basically run and done, and I think it's pretty much all over for them there. But I could be wrong. 
Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you for watching, my friends. Bye-bye.